now the fight itself one of the greatest short fights you'll ever watch in boxing absolutely unbelievable and it's an absolute pleasure to to have watched this fight back over and over and over again and I can't really give justice to, to, to sort of how good of a fight this is for, for just only eight minutes of a fight. So let's move into let's move into it. The first round then. Staring at each other through the national anthem. The stare down, of course, so customary before these fights. And here we go. Round one. Hagler right off the bat, attempting to get inside. He'd love to be able to pin Hearns on the ropes if he can. A more aggressive start by Hagler. Look at him, right for the body. Marvin Hagler only wants the body, and he bangs Marvin. Oh, Hearns may have hurt him with the right hand. Hurt him with the right. Hearns hits him with an uppercut. Hagler is hurt. hurt. Hagler is done. Hearns got inside. Hit him with a right uppercut. Marvin ties him up. Marvin Hagler is still hurt. So it was Hagler coming out like a bullet. A good left by Hagler, but Hearns didn't flinch. Marvin going for the body. Wild first round. That first round is probably the best first round of a fight you'll ever see. And the only other one I can say that maybe comes somewhere near that is the, the first Manny Pacquiao one Marquez fight. Yeah, I mean, even then, I mean, the thing is with, with this fight in particular is that the first round especially is always, they always seem to try and uh, compare them with any other fights. If any fight goes to war early, the first things you'll hear a commentator say is, Oh, this is like Hagler Hearns is, and, and it just that just says everything you need to know about. I mean, even Richard Still refereed the fight. He said, "I've been refereeing for 15 years, and I don't think I've seen that much intensity in a fight before." And and we all know Richard Still is, you know, he's a legendary referee, and you know he's been there, seen it, done it. So the first round was just, I mean, they both just come at each other like a train. It was just, it was an even battle uh, that will always go down as one of the best rounds of championship boxing ever if not the best. And it was just mesmerising action, literally from both. And they burst out of their corners, their retrospective corners, and they just went to war. Hearns was sort of throwing right hands at Hagler, but the champ would sort of put his head down and he'd march forward. And, and, and Tommy was shooting rights, and, and Hagler was basically popping off the, the jab, throwing hooks from his southpaw stance. So it was just constantly relentless they, they were throwing so many shots at each other everybody that was watching the fight was a new I mean as I say I watched it later on in my life and obviously probably about 10 years after if not a bit longer and I was just amazed by it and Hearns does it he does actually rock Hagler a little bit I felt when he sort of threw a right-handed uppercut but Hagler sort of just you know he just walked forward that's just what he did he, he, he nothing really seemed to phase him he had his head down and he was ready to go and that was the one shot that I felt that Hearns may have hurt him with now i can't quite i'm not quite sure if that was the right hand that actually opened up the cut but then a deep cut did open up on Hagler's forehead but it's savage really from both fellas but i mean this cut was quite bad as well it, yeah so it, i don't think i think it was only it wasn't much left of the round either so the cut was open quite badly as he as they sort of trotted off back to their corners but what a ferocious first round that was it was just unreal i've never seen anything like it and even still to this day, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever will. It was just unreal. It really was unbelievable. And also, after the end of that first round, Tommy Hearns actually broke his hand during the exchanges of the first round. And again, something that weren't known at the time of the fight taking place, but again was found out in the aftermath of the particular fight. That so all the bombs that he was landing and catching Hagler with and the one that he rocked him with as you talked about in that fight he actually ended up breaking his hand so he had to go out there in the second round and it was just more of the same really I think in the second round when you watch it back when I was talking about the fact that he'd had this massage prior to the fight on the night he come out and he's looking a little bit rubbery legged at this point and I think it's Sugar Ray Leonard, who actually says he doesn't like the way Tommy's moving, he looks a little bit rubbery legged. Even Hearns has, has even gone on to comment later on down the line that he even felt himself his legs were gone at this point in the second round. 